You're listening to GCN. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Sandy Rosenthal, the founder of Levies.org, is our guest, and she had a run-in repeatedly, uh, and they checked the IP addresses first, the handles, and then the IP addresses uh, of the Army Corps of Engineers going on, encountering them, attacking them, criticizing U.S. citizens. Now, 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 whether you're for or against what the Army Corps did or whether you want to blame the feds or the state, I believe there's blame to go all around. Uh, particularly the feds cutting communication lines and blocking aid so they could run everything and then claim that they needed more funding and power later. That was really what happened, problem, reaction, solution. Regardless, that's not the issue here. It's that the military uh, is out propagandizing against the American people more and more these days, and they admit that they are doing this and are quite proud of this, uh, CENTCOM, NORTHCOM, uh, and, and it's all part of the White House buying fake news, propaganda packages, and that's going to continue under Obama. So I wanted to get her on uh, for just 15, 20 minutes or so. We appreciate Sandy Rosenthal from Levies.org coming on with us. Uh, Sandy, out of the gates, uh, tell us a little bit about the organization and, and now what you're going through. Well, we are Levies.org, the only organization in America trying to focus attention on the fact that what happened here in New Orleans, uh, we were not destroyed by a hurricane. Uh, it was a flood that ravaged the city, and the re- reality is this is an engineering failure, the worst in the world since Chernobyl. And the Corps of Engineers is by federal law responsible for that flood protection. But right after the storm, a disinformation campaign started where the U.S. Army Corps authorized a million-dollar grant for um, engineering sci- societies to go out and do a traveling PR show. We discovered this in a FOIA request. You've also got the fact that the U.S. Army Corps investigated their own work after the flooding. You investigate yourself, what do you think you're going to find? And uh, as for outside peer review of that investigation, the Corps gave them um, uh, $2 million for it and awarded them with medals of honor 18 months before their work was finished. But the main message here is that U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, from the beginning, has been trying to shift blame to the citizens by claiming that the city interfered with their grand plan when that is not the case at all. And this is important for your listeners because there's U.S. Army Corps levies all over the place in all 50 states, and they're in bad condition. And finally, and that's why you have me on today, is there's Corps employees using Corps computers posing as average citizens to post information and disrupt legitimate discussions with personal t- attacks on the city. It's an unethical use of news and blogs. Well, it certainly is, and and again, they're not telling people that the Army Corps of Engineers, they're acting like they're John Q. Public, and they're doing this from government computers, and I think it's clearly part of a larger campaign uh, that uh, they're engaged in. So specifically, break down what happened and how you caught them, and now how they're responding since it made uh, television. Sure, I'd be happy to tell you. Um, I maintain two blogs, and uh, I noticed on both of them I've been receiving for years, but they've recently stepped up in their, um, in their frequency, um, attacks where I essentially, um, uh, I am maligned, uh, supporters are aligned, citizens are aligned, and they're trying to rewrite history. They're trying to say that uh, local officials, you know, got in the way and blocked the Army Corps' plans for the flood protection. And I know this is, I know it's, it's not true. I know that they're making up the facts. And, but as I said, I'm used to them. But then I, I, you know, it kind of got into my head, well, gee, let me see, you know, it's kind of like cooking, looking at caller ID. And uh, the IP address is clearly there, uh, visible to, for anyone that wants to look. And so all I did was I took that uh, caller ID, essentially, and plugged it into a program free on the Internet that anyone can access called whois.net, www.whois.net. 
and, and I plugged in the IP address, that's what it's called in that little box, and up came a military address. And that's how it all started. And, and I realized that, um, that you know, immediately that something was very wrong. Well, look, they've been sanctioned to do this on my websites, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, and others. Uh, they don't even hide the fact. I mean, they come on with their handles, and people could say, well, that's somebody using their handle. No. Then you go to their Facebook, their MySpace, or their, you know, their brigade website, whatever. They'll be wearing PSYOP patches. I mean, they're really mindless thugs. They aren't even good spies. Uh, and uh, they will be on there, you know, with all their anti-American rhetoric, their anti-free speech rhetoric, their, their talk about how they want to cap U.S. citizens. Uh, so really, uh, it's a group of brigands. I'm not saying our whole military is like that, but these mm -hmm. these the, these little special units they've sifted amongst the detritus and found uh, the particularly nasty uh, uh, blobs and put them into positions of power, and they're just 24/7 attacking basically anybody that criticizes uh, anything that uh, the foreign banks that own our government are doing. Well, in this case in New Orleans, and, and, and in, in just 10 seconds I'll explain why it's important to know this, but in New Orleans you've got a federal agency, the U.S. Army Corps, responsible for protecting the city and who let the city down to almost near total destruction, hiding their identities and posting anonymous comments on news sources, blogs, and forums to cover their tracks, rewrite history, and shift the blame for the flooding away from itself and onto the citizens of New Orleans. Now, why is that important to your listeners? Because there's levees in all 50 states in bad condition, and the U.S. Army Corps, I believe, has a lot at stake here in trying to protect their reputation. And your listeners, all they have to do is go to a website that we created called areweatrisk.org, areweatrisk.org, and all you have to do is type in your zip code, and your listeners can find out if they're at risk at well. Well, I mean, obviously, flooding happens. It's always going to happen, and, and I don't think the Army Corps of Engineers can keep us safe from everything. A government big enough to give you anything you want is big enough and will, by the way, always take everything away. Alex, I, I do need to point out we were not flooded be by, a, by a hurricane. We were flooded because of engineering failure. Uh, 53 levee breaches, 53, and they were due to engineering failure, not just simply a case no, no, of a I, I, Listen, I, I'm not debating that with you. I was talking about the rest of the nation, and, and I was just stating that the people need to talk to their governments about the double set of books, the comprehensive annual financial reports, and say, look, we don't want all that invested in offshore uh, hedge funds and derivatives. We, you know, the states uh, need to take control, and they need to build up the levees all over the Mississippi and other major rivers. I mean, I mean, don't you think that's a good idea? Because, I mean, the feds just, you know, they can't help it. They're going to always bid rig. They're always going to steal. Uh, I mean, it's a wicked group. They well, I'm going to answer your question, and you asked me if that's a good idea, and I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what we think. Uh, we think that we don't know, yet know what happened to these levees in New Orleans as long as the investigation was conducted by the organization responsible for its performance. Because they're involved for cover-up, sure. And, I mean, that's a conflict of interest. Well, going back, when was the last big flood in New Orleans? Because it was admitted then that they did, that the Army Corps did blow up the levees that time. Okay, uh, there's, there were two floods. There was one in 1965, and that's when the federal government came in and decided that it would take over our flood protection. And, and, uh, and by federal mandate, it took the responsibility for building our levees away from us and gave it to uh, the U.S. Army Corps, and that's all outlined in the Flood Control Act But there Act was one before that where they did blow up the levee. That was, um, you're talking, I believe, about the flood, in, uh, a flood that occurred in 1927. Yeah. And that was when the Army Corps came in and said, I mean, I'm sorry, when the Congress came in and um, um, set up a law, Flood Control Act of 1928, that says if anything goes wrong with an Army Corps of Engineers flood protection project, uh, they cannot be sued. Well, I just, but I mean, that's why people think they blew up the levees this time is because it's on record that the Army did blow up the levees to flow the lower areas instead of the richer areas. I mean, that's admitted. That did happen. What's admitted? Oh, you're not yes. aware that they blew up the levees back in the 20s? Oh, okay. In the 19th, I, I, I just was asking you what was what. The you know, I forget. Was. You yeah. know, I, I knew about it. and I saw a PBS mm -hmm. show about it, mm -hmm. and, and memory escapes me. But my mother-in-law bought me a Pulitzer Prize-winning book that came out two years ago about it, and and it's it's all about the last flood. So you're you, so you're not aware of that. 
Okay, I, I, I was cla- I was the question I was asking you, Alex, was trying to clarify what you what you were asking. No, me. I'm I saying thought, you're I aware you were that they me okay, if there was an explosion if the, the levees were blown up three years ago. That's what I thought you were asking me. I was just trying to clarify your question. Okay. I'm talking about the previous time. I mean, that's why locals think it did happen three years ago, is because it's admitted there, that it did happen previous. There are, are some locals who were here um, who, who, who didn't know that the flood, that the levees could break, and, and some, some stayed here. And uh, they, there have been reports that, um, that they heard the sound of the levees breaking, and, and, and they reported that it sounded like they were being blown up. And that's what you're referring to. Yeah, no, but 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 what I'm referring to, I'm just asking you as a poll. Uh-huh. Okay. Are you aware that the Army Corps of Engineers admits they blew up the levees uh, previous to that, 60, 70 years before that? 